Hello comrades and welcome back. We are back to back on the last episode uh, where we nearly struck catastrophe but we gracefully make that <laughs> saved our little economy. Uh, we are back having a little bit of buffer here and uh, no, nearly no buffer here. Um, we have to keep this in mind because our power comes from the western side so next opportunity we have to export something to the west we need to do it yeah the plan for today is um, get our industry back and running um, maximize the output and hopefully save some of our crops uh, the harvesting season is near and uh, we have no silos up and running and we have no money so it will be exciting stay tuned Okay, so this one can hide. Yeah, thank you. Um, where do we start? Where do we start? The pump is still offline, but um, nearly finished. Let the game run. But uh, only needs minuscule lot of material. Mm. We're still waiting. Um, our comrades on are on high gear. Uh, I really want to profit from the harvest so yeah I think a couple of weeks maybe a month we have and yeah, 19 of June um, but without uh, silos no luck we need to have the silos to store the harvest somewhere um, <laughs> the farm itself only has uh, 76 tons yeah this is, uh, in terms of harvest, nothing. Uh, this really yield us, whatever you said, uh, nearly 3,000 tons. And uh, I want to have the harvest to kick our industry production back into high gear. At the moment, we are limping along, uh, still being curbed from the events of the last episodes. Um, we have what is our chemical situation chemical situation is good but as soon as we can uh, kick on our production again having finished this one and the pipe yeah deep underground pipe um, yeah deliver me the steel comrade we has all uh, still on the way. Everything we export from the west still hurts. I hope I hope these are the two last ones. Um, because we cannot afford to. Uh, what does our energy cost? Uh, look at last month. Look at imports from the western side. So these are the emergency uh, operations which are going on and uh, we have a cost of power of 2200 so we are now having a buffer of six months yeah tendency is to forget about such things so let's hope not this one we clearly don't need here uh, can come back there's a cover toll without work. There's a cover. Are there two or one? There's one. Mm. Yeah. Do these need mechanical components? They don't. Nice. So we can repurpose the cover toll. Uh, just sitting here. We are also short of cover tolls. Believe it or not. No, let's wait until the pump is done. Yeah, short on anything. It was planned otherwise, but uh, this one costs, costs us greatly. 
Luckily, we have uh, fixed our situation here in the town. Everything is hunky dory, 80% happiness again. Um, some un unemployed people. Hopefully, we will get them to work. Um, the crime situation is under control, so uh, here in the police station, everything is good. No open cases in the uh, in the courthouse. They are working on it. I think a minimal staff. Oh, two they missed. Maybe we make the staff a little bit higher. I think it was from the starting times. Here, yeah, convicted prisoners are sitting in. I think they should should not be so criminal. Let's see. 8% 0% cause they get uh, anti decriminalized 5% per uh, cycle and the cycle is 10 to 12 times a year I heard 10 times which is highly unlogical but yeah could be so uh, he gets decriminalized 50% a year and I don't think we have 50% uh, criminals which have 50% uh, criminality. So you see, maybe this one was the 8% guy, now he's 3%. So the uh, minimum sentences are also very acceptable. Let's dial them down. So, 5 years, uh, 5 months, 1 year. We want to, we don't want to keep them in the prison longer than necessary. Let's make it 1.5. Okay. Because we need to take care of them and their burden. So, uh, the faster they are out, the better. University is closed. Uh, we want to maximize the workforce here. But we need water. A tragical, tragical pump event of 1963. <laughs> That's really, uh, yeah, kept me on my toes. The forestation efforts went brilliantly, a little bit too good. Let's cut it back. Hello. The deforestation tool only needs a very gentle touch. There's uh, a fixed radius, and you either you put too much trees in or you to put too much trees out. That's the main thing of this effort. Looks nice here. Really, some trees on the right spots do wonders. Not done here, but 
That's a good start. Okay. How's our pump situation? Pump is waiting on bricks. 14 tons. Two trucks. Two trucks. So we can uh, uh, maybe wait until this one is done. Seven months of uh, power. Fixing excessive cheek grows. Just a little bit overgrown, but I think it's it's fine. Maybe here we could have some a little bit more <laughs> or less, more of less um, trees, trees, tree bulldozer. Yeah. Don't need so dramatic greenery here. Yeah. Okay. Pump, <laughs> please. No pump for you, but uh, pipe. Okay, we have to pipe. Let's hope we didn't uh, made something wrong here. They are full of fabric, which is nice. Are these set up correctly? They are going here. I think. Uh, we do not need to load any fabric anymore because pipe is uh, the public station is nearly done. Hello. Simply unload hundred percent of everything. Okay, sigh of relief. It's really quite stressful. We are still um, under our rules. No mods, no loans, no oil. And we survive without taking a loan, even if it was really, 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 really near, near full-blown catastrophe. I take a little bit of tea. Peppermint this time. Okay, so workers piece. Okay, so let's ramp up the production here. I really want to have good production. So 
Let's tell the comrades where to go. You. Oh, here. You have your orders. You. Go here. You. Go here. You. Oh, we're going to the bus platform. You do whatever you want. Wanted to clean up here, but I think the trees solved our problems. And uh, reactivate the population here. Also, they can populate this one. Okay. So now we put some pressure on the bus stop and hopefully our buses will collect them. Um, because I really, really, really want to uh, get up the the silo up and running. Okay. Same thing as before, we need to reassign all the sources. Can't we? Ah! Ooh! No. Okay. On the one hand, it is safe to not let everything delete at once, but there could also be a, man, uh, a dialogue box where he asks, Hey, uh, you are about to reassign everything. Are you sure? And you say yes or no, and yeah. Okay. Please get me the... What? Let's pull out the rest of the steel. What is this? Let's pull out the rest of the steel from here. And the uh, bricks from here. And the uh, um, refer panels. From here. And the uh, bots. From here. You are the concrete crew, so we assign the concrete source. Um. Concrete, you take from here. You are gravel and asphalt. Gravel. Asphalt. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> this one here, and uh, so we have gravel and asphalt, hopefully from the right border. Uh, he... I think we delete everything. reassignment this okay, nice so we have these three done um, one of uh, one of the bush ones is not set like you and looks like the western border all along So prefer first this one and for prefabs 
and what's this one okay so um pump under 68 work days how many workers can go there but on max Okie dokie. As soon as I can start up the chemical plant, I will start up also the uh, silo. Clock is ticking. Let's make it a little bit faster. So let's see if the water situation is solved here, at least, at last. Water quality 84%. Yeah, let's throw it away. 86! <laughs> Still not good, but enough for them. Okay. Ready, steady, go. Yeah, I had 94% quality, uh, yeah, little change of place, big difference. They really don't like to be blocked. Uh, firstly, they don't like the pollution as much. This is also in a polluted zone still. Um, but the main thing is having uh, something blocking the ground, I think. So we are in production here now. So, how we do it? Um, we have two cover tower remaining, and they are they are here to export. Subject to change. We have um, to produce ten tons of fabric. We need one ton of chemicals. And from so we 0.1 ton for one ton of fabric, and we need two tons of fabric, roughly to produce one ton of clothing. So we produce 0. Point, for one ton of clothing, we need 0. 0.2 tons of chemicals in the end. Let's try to implement this one into our vehicles. So per ton, 0 0.2 tons. Hello, comrade. So uh, we can pro we can we can carry 6.3 tons. So it's uh, one ton of chemicals we need to take with us. Let's see. Go on the max and. We want one ton of chemicals on every trip, maximum loaded. Zero point, let's say, okay, a little bit less, I think, should be fine. If not, we build in some safety net. Okay. So you will load at the max this amount of chemicals and this amount of uh, fabric. And we need to change this road. So you go here. And you are here. This one, the factory will go away. At this one, you load this one and you unload 
chemicals and you wait until loaded. Let's hope one is enough. I don't know what the daily peak production... Uh, 1.2 tons a day, so every uh, two of them produce, let's say, two tons a day. Every four days. I think one could be enough. The cover tolls. We are in cover toll saving mode. Um, okay. So if one is enough, this one is... can be used anywhere else. So he's also going to unload at the border. And after that you are going here. Yes, thank you. And you do everything again. Okay. So yeah, to earn fifty thousand uh fifty thousand ruble, uh, we need five trips a month, I think he can make it alone. And now we need to organize our crop situation. So we have, uh, hopefully we have everything sorted out so our construction can go to work here. Let's start with the silo. Uh, also with workers. And everything else also. Because I don't know if, if I have in everything else, every construction office. So we need a um, little bit of concrete, a little bit of gravel and a little bit of asphalt to start the first stage. And we need 30 tons of steel, a few bricks to start the second stage. Which uh, we calculated this before, nets around 20,000 ruble. Mm, let's hope it does not break our bank. Okay. So this one, because we have reworked our system, we have some free trucks, but I think they should stay as they are. Um, one truck will be changed to also help with our uh, dollar situation. Ah, oh, stay there. Okay. We are in high gear. Told the whole town to help with it. Um, work less or less of 2%. Happiness is also going up. Which is nice to see. So let's hope the uh, situation here is stable. Uh, we import enough. Not enough chemicals. Because the biggest uh, cost factor, even more than the crops, is the chemicals. And uh, if we can reactivate our university, I want to research some chemicals. Chemical, so we can build ourselves here a chemical plant. Uh, yeah. To maximize our little production chain here. Be self-sufficient. Oh, quite a lot of workers. Let's limit them to... Oh, should we limit them? Are we... What is this situation here? No, we don't limit them. I want to have this one up and running. ASAP. Because we get our workers from here, I think our people office. So it's the... They don't need to work here. Let's see. Um, but they can do this one. Because I think we get the workers here from the bus station. Yeah. Let's limit them a little bit. Um, I think they are limited now because of the... <laughs> Nothing here. Um, yep. Yeah. 
better with like 10 workers. Oh, second stage. Okay, nice. 800 work days. The cranes are right around the corner. Um, let's see the situation of the steel. We have more bricks than steel. Dollars are stable. Google's going down. Something new? Or something old? Okay. Here... He's loading up. Nice. Okay. Okay, we are complete here. Yeah. That we have used all the steel. One lot of steel is there, but I think we changed this one. So, for the next operation, you get your steel from our trusted border. And you get your steel from the border. Okay. A cover toll we sent to here. So we are nearly stuffed out here. Okay. Harvest has begun. Will begin very shortly. And this one will be finished in no time. Two cranes on the side. And five or six days and this one is done. If we have 40,000 rubles, I will uh, start the next silo. Hello. How is the crop situation here? It's going down. Uh, I really don't like it. It's such a tight fit in every, in every way. Oh, harvest season has begun. Yes. <laughs> Make it max. I don't think there will come many people here to work. Okay. You. We need you. Forty thousand. Next one. Mm -hmm. Yep. We start to fill up. <laughs> what the timing. Okay. You go here and you go here. Fill up with crops and wait and unload and wait. Okay. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Okay. 
If I may, I want to have another cover tall. Don't have here one. You. You are now in uh, crop duty. Nice. Okay, so we have saved our production. We have saved the first 800 tons of crops. We have around 27th of July, so uh, August, September, October, November, some months to deal with the whole whole crop situation. This is one third of a, a big field, a medium field. Um, 1.57 hectares. These are 4.5, nearly 5 hectares. So this will lead, uh, uh, this will produce 100 tons of crops. Which is nice, comfortable. What's your problem? Critical loyalty? Yeah, I know. How critical are we in the loyalty department? 37% going up. Nice. So if nothing dramatically goes wrong, we are out of the... First problem. Um, keep in mind, we need to deal with the problematic uh, power situation. 50,000 rubles. Nice, nice. So we are back in the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, please, not so many people. Silo is filling up. We would survive without the farm and without uh, saving our crops, but it would be uh, stupid as heck if we built up a farm by the harvesters. The tractors go to all this trouble and lose the whole uh, harvest. And also we can uh, use every money we can, we need. I want to, let's buy another here. Let's buy us in cover tour. Oh. We have the new one, V3S, which is faster, uh, has a little bit less capacity. We don't need fast and we don't need less capacity, so please. One or two. We need a second one from the construction office. And... But let's wait. What do you do? You refill? Okay. Because, yeah, you have nothing to do. So, here, I want to have a failsafe, basically. Um, you go here, and you go here, and what unload, you load chemicals, and you unload them here if they are under 30%, yes. Let's Looking good. Money situation going down. Crop situation is okay. Okay. Yeah, crops are going down like not tomorrow. Here is two parking spaces are here. So we could buy a second cover tower, we need them anyway. Still our beloved SKD. Okay. 
Whew. Sigh of relief. Yeah, back in the game. As long as we have <laughs> some crops. Which we seem to burn faster than we can harvest them. Can plan our second farm. Because the first one went so successfully in. Mm. Let's wait a little bit until we stabilize here. By planning, I mean mostly laying out the roads and. Uh, yeah. Uh, but we need to build it for the winter optionally. Optimally. We should start then. Hmm. Okay. Silos filling up, but too fast. Yeah, 30 tons of crops. So the harvesters uh, went back home to fill up with fuel, I think. It's also because they are new. The first run is, uh, is a lo losing one in terms of fuel efficiency. They're not hopped from this field to this, that field. Maybe they can do it, maybe they don't. I haven't paid attention since the fuel update comes, so <laughs> it's open for re-evaluation if they can do uh, two fields at once. One after another. Yep. Okay, this one is nearly up and running. Same as before. Look how the money plunged down. Um, but I think our money mule is on the way to the border. He was? He is? He was? Yeah, 27,000. Okay. So as long as we don't run out of crops. <laughs> Now it's a little bit like a little bit equilibrium-ish, but not not totally. The second silo comes on. Uh, I will direct the second cover tall here. Give it the beans, comrades. Bricks. Are there enough bricks to raise another one up? Yeah. But look for the money. Twenty-seven thousand. And <laughs> look for the dollars. I will send a cover toll loading here on one of these sides. I like that they always are full but pushing at the same time here this one out. Yeah and this one this one I really like so it's a highly efficient setup. If I have the second farm uh, I will have crops for the whole year. Now it's a half year thing. Um, because the main problem oh second silo hello the main problem is that we have no um that the crops are such a high volume so you need a lot a lot of trucks to transport them from the border here to uh, optimally you have a train even for a train it's a, it's a good uh, amount of work Not wait until loaded. Uh, not wait until loaded. And now we have here a simple, simple setup with simple lines which uh, do not interfere with each other and cannot deadlock. So this one here uh, does only the export and uh, transport the chemicals. The chemicals are fail safe here. The only thing which can happen happen is that um, we have too little fabric to keep them running at full pace. So if there's an imbalance between production and consumption of the fabrics. But this is not a tragic thing, it's okay. Um, if we are out of the financial 
catastrophe which went on, I will um, fire up the university again. 36,000, 50,000, I will start the next one. Um, yeah. So farm is busy. Combine harvesters are busy. It's good to see. Okay. So I will plant the next farm uh, here. I think. Keep the uh, things which produce uh, which produce bad <laughs> bad odors, which produce the pollution uh, away from the city. Um, keeping the 700 meters active, so uh, this people are healthy. Let's have a look. 80 years here. It's fine. Maybe I have to. 83 years. Maybe I have to redirect the uh, sewage output. Because uh, this really seems to be. 80? 83. Hmm. No. Because the sewage is here. But if I create a chemical plant, I think I will put another output here. I will not uh, pump the switch here into this output. Uh, don't want to stress my luck here. These are, we measured it at the start. These are 500 meters away from the people. Um, yeah. So I basically try to avoid anything which costs me money in the long run. Uh, less people which are less multiplying are costing me money. Uh, because yeah, I have less production. Let's see if uh, everything is here all right. Because I have redirected many, many people to the bus stop. I see this one is, for example, not filled up to the brim, as usual. Is the situation good? It's also good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we could use more people. the police station doing not you okay no open cases and you also fine yeah, yeah seven people here eight people watching for seven people <laughs> uh, it really looks like we need the big prison so nice I think it's a nice place to stop um, having stabilized our our economy still at fifty thousand dollars having our economy back on high gear as it should be the crops are yeah now we are on a third place on the crops the two trucks are enough to transport our crops the silo has a capacity of uh, 800 tons of grain. So 1600 for 2, 2400 for 3. So 3 are needed. Um, 300 tons, 600 tons, 900 tons, 1200 tons, 1500 tons, 1800 tons, 2100 tons. Plus these ones uh, is uh, ah, 2400 tons. So for silos, they are. And this is not even the fastest setup uh, because like I said I have now I have the nice combine harvesters I <laughs> planned uh, to buy the Soviet ones but um, yeah there was some change of plans uh, now we have the good combine harvesters uh, if we have faster tractors we can upgrade our three four smaller fields medium fields up to uh, four bigger fields which will yield us even more but I think uh, if we manage to keep a high production, we need two farms and then we are golden. Okay, so nice point to stop. Uh, I'm very satisfied. We made it out here and uh, see you next time. Bye.